Welcome back. So much of the conversation surrounding cannabis lately has centered on recreational use, with the state poised to open up legal dispensaries before the end of this year. But New York also has a medical marijuana program that's been up and running for more than six years. Although it started out a little slow, there are now more than 125,000 registered patients statewide and more than 3,600 doctors and other practitioners who are certified to prescribe the medicine. A recreational legalization has led to some changes with the medical program, and one proposal now is that they would no longer require a pharmacist to be physically on site at each medical dispensary. Some advocates are against that change, and so is Dr. Laszlo Metzler with Dent Neurologic Institute. He told me earlier today that allowing pharmacists to work remotely will take away some of the legitimacy of the medicine. Since I started the um, cannabis clinic here at the Dent Institute, one of the things I wanted to do is legitimize the process, legitimize cannabis. The pharmacist gives the advantage that you have somebody with that knowledge. Would you go to a pharmacy and buy a drug for your heart that is promoted by the checkout young girl? Or do you want to do it from a pharmacist? Now, some people don't care. A spokesperson for the state's Cannabis Control Board said in part that the proposed regulations are designed to allow flexibility for the pharmacist to provide remote supervision in a manner that maintains accessibility to the pharmacist for patients. And they pointed out that they'll only be able to supervise one dispensary at a time and the pharmacist will still have to be located within New York State. Anyone who wants to weigh in on this proposed change to the medical program can email regulations at ocm.ny.gov. The comment period ends tonight at midnight, so you have to get that in pretty soon. We'll have more of our conversation with Dr. Metzler tomorrow here on the town hall. He will explain why medical cannabis is still so expensive. In fact, about half of his patients can't even afford it.